And we're back with. Um, and then there were none. There you go. Aha! And let's res wait a minute. Hold on. I don't hear any music. There you go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I always have to turn that down because when you minimize this video window thingy, it doesn't turn the music off. Oh, contemplating, are you? Oh. Wow, everyone seems to be so concerned with this. Uh, hey, Doc. Did Marston... Did Marston choke to death? Sure. You can call it choking if you like. He died of asphyxiation right enough. Hmm. Asphyxiation, you say? Was Marston poisoned? Can't say exactly. Everything points to one of the cyanides. No distinctive smell of prussic acid. Probably potassium cyanide. It acts pretty well instantaneously. Well, you seem to know. <laughs> Was there something in the whiskey? Yes, without a doubt. Whiskey, whiskey! Do you think it was suicide? Seems like it. Uh. Could he have been murdered? Not my line of country. I'm a doctor, not a detective. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? Not I. Personally or professionally. That was smart of you. What do you think that record means? A disgraceful and heartless practical joke, I suppose. If you'll excuse me, Doctor. Uh, okay. Well, that's our... dead person right there. The second dead person, I think. <laughs> if Miss Rogers is dead. Do you think it was suicide? You conduct yourself well, Mr. Narricott, oh, if you don't mind my saying so. Mr. Bloor has told us that you are not what you appear. Yes. Yet you told him you were not a detective. No, sir. But I've read many detective novels. I even had one of those junior detective kits when I was a boy. Magnifying glass, uh. fingerprint powder. <laughs> junior uh. detective kit. Wonderful. Yeah, that's nice. Ah, an amateur sleuth then. You appear to have something of a gift for it. About the suicide, Judge. I'm not yet prepared to offer an opinion. Yes, his hair is way freaked out. Did you that. know Marston before he arrived here today? Marston. I knew his father, the Duke, and his elder brother. Like so many younger sons of his class, Anthony Marsden was a bit of a wastrel, as you will have gathered. There were other rumors of late, of his dabbling in politics, but this is not the proper forum for that discussion. I couldn't agree more. What do you think that record means? May I answer that in a moment after asking a question of my own? Yeah, why, of aren't, course. why aren't you in the... Does anyone know Mr. Owen's full name? My letter was signed only U.N. Owen. Yes. U.N. Owen. U.N. Or, by a slight stretch of fancy, unknown. I'll now answer your question, Mr. Narricott. The name, the recording, the circumstances under which all but you were lured to this island. I have no doubt in my mind that we have been invited here by a madman. Very possibly a dangerous homicidal lunatic. Oh my god! We're all gonna die! Why did you retire, Judge? I know there was talk about my competence, even my ego running wild. But the truth of it is very simple. My health. A lifetime sentencing my fellow man, and now a higher power has passed judgment on me. I appreciate your candor, Judge. No problem, Narricott. Okay, so another one of those weird uh, reflection doohickeys. I guess everyone's a vampire, including these two couples. Hi. Uh, hi. Do you think Marston committed suicide? No, oh, quite yes, I yes. I think he would kill himself. He was so alive. When he came down that hill in his car, he looked. He looked. Oh, I can't explain. Oh, God. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? No. He... I I'm sure I would have remembered. Okay. Steady, Miss Claythorne. Lad had his faults, you know. Whatever. What do you think that record means? It was unfair, what it said. Very unfair. Oh, of course. You seem to be a remarkably perceptive girl, Miss Claythorne. Why, thank you, Mr. Narricott. Is there anything you can tell me about our fellow castaways? Castaways? You make it sound so... Romantic? I was going to say dramatic. Oh, it's the same thing. Let me see. No one has confided any secrets to me, I'm afraid. Oh, except one. That is... Ah. 
I really don't know you well enough to answer you. Thank oh. you for your time. Well, you just won't mind if I push you out the window, girl. But first, and you break the window and shatters the glasses, and then oh, I'm gonna talk to this man right here. Huh, do you think? Do you think Marston committed suicide? Nah. He didn't seem particularly remorseful. Of course, the record might have set him off somehow. A new incident long after the fact may create a strong feeling of guilt or fear. Wouldn't you say, Doctor? <sighs> possible. Quite possible. Yeah, I like how he just turns around and he doesn't turn his head. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? Yeah! Heard of him, but we'd never crossed paths or swords. Okay. What do you think that record means? There is something wrong with this entire weekend, and especially with our host, Mr. Owen. I believe we're all coming around to that conclusion. Ooh, burn. Yes, but I know something you don't, Judge. What is that? Stop turning around! I recognize the voice on that recording, and it was definitely not Mr. Owen. Who was it? Not so fast, Narakot. Not until I think things through a bit more. Well, Thank you, Lombard. You're kind of stupid for leading us on, because everyone's going to think bad of you and crap. And I know who was talking on there. This guy! It's the same voice actor. I'm sure it's not the same guy in the story, but, you know. Oh, I forgot. Pudgy and Miss Funeral Lady. I've got to interview these people. Miss Brent. Do you think it's Do suicide? Do you think Marston committed suicide? Yes. In my experience, certain types of individuals, when faced with their sin, will then commit the greater one. Uh, it's not that I don't believe in sin, but come on, can you stop bothering us? Did you us? know Marston before he arrived here today? No. Uh, what do you think that record means? There is something very peculiar about it. That is all, Miss Brett. Oh, okay. Well, that is all. I love his legs! <laughs> I did. Whoops. Do you uh. think Marston committed suicide? I shouldn't have said Mr. Marston was a suicidal type of gentleman at all. Oh, well, thanks. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? Never clapped eyes on him. And who gave you the authority to question us? You're under no obligation to answer me. Ooh -hoo. What do you think that record means? I don't like it. Not one bit. Very queer, the whole situation. Thanks, Bloor. Totally. Thanks, Bloor, for that interesting bit of information. Okay. Mackenzie. Hey, Mackenzie. Do you think it was suicide? How dare you! My wife died of natural causes, sir. A long illness. Nothing more. I meant Marston. <laughs> Marston? Born. No other in him that I could see. Yeah. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? No, I don't think so. Not a military man, I'd wager. No, definitely not. Lombard now. He reminds me of someone from my command, but the name wasn't Lombard. What was the name? What do you think that record means? Ugly. After 30 years. Ugly thing to say. Thank you, General. Well, thanks Where for breaking this up. I went to check on my wife, sir. She is resting comfortably. <laughs> but I'm afraid I have some distressing news. Oh? One of the China figures of a sailor boy has been broken off. <gasps> collector's item. Chapter 2. Nine little sailor boys sat up very late. One overslept himself and then there were eight. Oh, well. Oh, now the rain looks like leeches. <laughs> Filthy night. I tried to go out <laughs> to get some more wood for the fire, but the wind drove me back. A storm like that will keep us all indoors. My apologies for the accommodations, Mr. Narricot, but all the beds are taken. Uh, Makes one wonder where the Owens were planning to sleep, doesn't it? Not really. A good servant follows instructions, sir. He does not question his employer. Unless you'd like to share the deceased's room with the corpse. This will do fine. Thank you, Rogers. Oh. I'll wish you a good night, then, sir. Why did they just put the corpse on the couch and let him sleep in the guy's room? I don't know. Maybe I'm too practical. Everyone should be sound asleep by now. Everyone. Good time for a little stealth work. More stealth work and invading people's privacy! Yeah! So, you hear the music playing right now? I can actually play this on the piano and I probably will post that because it's the most cheapest, cheapest music, music ever. All oh, the fires. 
look like water. And you know what's fun? Is it repeats all the time. So, you guys, we basically are going to do exactly what we've been doing just at night while everyone's asleep. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but that's what's going to happen. So, that isn't going to help. Okay, you know what? Shut up. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to hijack these things. This is neither the time nor the place. So, uh, the game, this part of the game gets kind of awkward, too, because, um, the way, like, it's dark right now, hopefully you guys can see this on YouTube, I'm not sure, but, um, ooh. Nine little sailor boys. Yeah, and they left his legs, too, nice, but, um, uh, when we go upstairs, it's, it's kind of weird, like, I didn't like the way they did this. It's too dark to move around in there without stumbling. Okay. Oh yeah! Alright, key items. Um, remember earlier we picked up a flashlight? Yeah, well it's a flashlight without batteries. <laughs> How is that for stupid? Okay, but we found some batteries in... Oh, shiny new batteries, that's what they're called. In uh, the flower sack, which if you remember when I was playing the Wii version, it would not let me pick those up. See, that's part of the reason I was like, I don't know if I could beat the Wii version. But anyway, combine these items and... That works. Just barely. Oh, well, whatever. Then do it yourself, you little... Butt. I can't see anything of interest. Okay, well then you take the flashlight. This is neither the time nor the place. And apparently you don't really use it. You just have it equipped naturally. There you go. And here's where it gets awkward. Awkward. You, your cursor is the flashlight. So that's kind of weird, I know. So hopefully you just can see and just bother Whoever you. it is, please leave us. My wife needs her rest. Yeah, Sorry about that, Rogers. Not at all. <laughs> I never knew you could have that conversation with Mr. Rogers. Oh, that is weird. I'm sneaking through the house. See, did you hear that? It like relapsed. That was weird. gonna do some inappropriate snooping. And by inappropriate I mean totally insane. Locked. And stupid. I can't open it. It's well, locked. I mean if I can get into the some of the rooms maybe we can do some inappropriate snooping. Here you go. This must be the room of the dead lady. Or guy. No! It's the doctor! And he's alive and with all the noise we make he, he does not wake up. He's as tight as an owl. I expect nothing could wake him up. Really? You want to bet? Let's jump on his stomach. So it's kind of creepy because he's not really moving. So, uh, I think I can go through here. I'm not sure. Yay! Hey, no sound effect. Awesome. So we didn't wake that guy up. And don't you love how it's light inside the house? It's like they didn't bother to do. Yeah, whatever. Oh, hey, Judge. Got a little piece of lint on the... <laughs> I don't want to know. Locked. Oh, you know, see, if that were me and there was just a murder committed, no way. No way would a man be going through I can't my open room. it. It's locked. You know what I mean? It's like... Where would that, or a woman, a child, anything be in my room without me waking up? That's dumb. But, this is the crappy game of the month. So you guys, it's not only crappy in quality and it's everything else. It's tightly locked. It's also common sense. The practicality is zero. Oh, Lombard, you're going to get killed if you leave your door unlocked. That's Lombard. Slurk. Gruck. I say we draw on his face. Ha ha ha. 